This is Anthony Nunez and I'm doing an educational video on Van Cortland Park. This is a beautiful park. It's the third largest park in New York City and it's located here in the Bronx. This park is near and dear to me because I spent several years playing baseball, hiking, running in this park, and it's really beautiful. The park used to actually have a Metro North train station stop that would take you from Upper Westchester all the way down into Manhattan. Now, if you go towards where the parking lot is, you'll see the skeletons or the bones of what this bustling train station once was. If you go further into the park, it's actually home to the oldest standing building in the Bronx. And it's beautiful. You get to see stuff from the 1700s. Even George Washington has been said to have stayed there for a period of time. The park is named after the Van Cortlandt family, who was the original owners and eventually New York City in the late 1800s claimed the property or acquired the property. The park was really transformed by Robert Moses. Robert Moses had the Henry Hudson Parkway and the Mashulu Parkway cut through the park. This really changed the fabric of the park. The park is also home to the first public golf course. And this golf course is right next to the biggest freshwater lake in the borough. The park is amazing. You can go out there, play around the golf with your friends, and have a wonderful day. In addition to the golf course, you could also go out and go horseback riding in the park, or you can go for a dip in the pool. This park features a premier cross-country location where it has miles of running with beautiful scenic routes. It's just a special place to run in New York City. It's a great place to go barbecue, hang out, because there's so much trees, the park offers a wealth of shaded areas. You also have a lot of ball fields, home of which Manhattan College. Manhattan College home field and several of the local schools have their home fields in Van Cortland Park. And they run the outdoor cross country at the local track. In the summer times, you're gonna see the tennis courts used. And in the winter time, they convert the tennis court area into a skating rink. So that's been happening recently. If I had to think about what future developments could get done to the park, one piece would be the city bikes. The city bikes should have taken a jump to Van Cortlandt Park and Pelham Bay Park and offered those features because the parks already have miles by which a biker can just rent out a bike and just go out for a nice scenic ride. In addition to that, it would be nice to see the barbecue areas of the park rehashed out, redeveloped so that they're more family friendly. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to know more about the Bronx or if you're interested in getting the latest updates on the next upcoming videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll be constantly producing educational videos about the Bronx and other areas of New York.